So Benjamin Dubé, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to speak to you. How are you doing today? I feel great and God has been good and I'm so glad that God is actually taking us from one level of blessing to another level. You are a bishop, you own a music label, you're an artist, you're a speaker, <laughs> just to name a few. How do you pack it all in, plus four children and a wife? Yeah, well, it, it's just by the grace of God, um, you know, uh, you move from one assignment to another and then God just acknowledges you and uh, gives you uh, even uh, more of uh, uh, a responsibility, I guess. Um, and so uh, my uh, being an artist uh, and, and a gospel artist, uh, of course, it started long uh, from uh, age uh, 16, you know, when I actually went uh, a professional. Um, uh, but then as I was growing into the music, uh, and then God actually gave me an assignment of studying um, uh, a, a ministry, a church. Um, and that was immediately after I, I got married. And so... Uh, from then on, it has been just uh, one thing after the other, and by the grace of God, I'm able to put all that together. And uh, itinerary speaking, uh, you know, going to preach uh, a church uh, from one church to another, um, I guess um, it, it has been just wept in uh, into my uh, ministry, which is music and uh, speaking. Awesome. You mentioned there that you started at the age of 16. Uh, we did a bit of research and found, that, found out that your first single, Holy Spirit, was recorded back in 1986. That's right. How have you managed to stay relevant in regards to your music after all these years? Oh, that's a that's a very good question, you know, because uh, uh, I, I've discovered that, you know, God, actually knows what is needed at whatever time mm. and at the same time uh helping me navigating me and keeping me on the ground and uh, to really know what it is that is uh effective uh especially when coming to uh the industry or um the business of music you know uh, always keeping up with uh, what is going on at mm. that time because uh you know sometimes if you really do not listen uh, to what other people are doing, you may actually end up uh, being, being an island to yourself, you know. And I believe at the same time, not only listening to people, uh, but all the time referring uh, uh, to what God wants uh, you personally uh, to do and, and checking with God. And is this your will? You know, mm. do you want, do you want me, uh, to, uh, really, uh, 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 do this? Is that your assignment? Is that, uh, the mandate you're giving me? Because I, I cannot, uh, do what has already been done. Mm. <laughs> and over the years, have you seen a lot of change in the industry? Well, uh, I don't know internationally, but um, in South Africa, there has been a very big shift, mm. you know, uh, from the time uh, uh, in, in 1990, uh, where traditional gospel was detailed, you know, um, and uh, from the time, from uh, 2000, uh, 2003, and there was a shift. And, and then uh, God began to actually bring in true worshipers, you know, right. uh, those that actually would sing gospel music, uh, and knowing God, having a relationship with God, uh, saved, knowing Jesus Christ and all that. And there was a shift. And all those that have been in the traditional gospel uh, who were singing, you know, just singing about God and about, uh, you know, the difficulties and, 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 and the situations that they, they are having and mm. people are having and, and, you know, and that took a back seat and then true worshipers came forward. But uh, I believe that 
uh, one has to always follow and know as to where is God taking us and at the same time uh, know as to uh, what it is that that the people need. Yeah, know? yeah. Um, wow, well, I mean, Bishop, you have released 16 albums. Is that correct? Yeah. 16? Yes. I mean, yes. by yes. my calculations, that is a lot of songs, a lot of songs right here. <laughs> How do you keep coming up with fresh sounds, fresh lyrics, fresh melodies over and over again? You know, um, uh, I never sing a song that has not affected me, and uh, I, uh, meaning affected me uh, spiritually and widened probably listening to the song and I, 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 I was changed by that song or moved by that song. And I, every song that I write is a, so, is a song about my life and it's about my relationship with God and, of course, my experiences along my journey with God. Mm. Every song has an impact in my life, and that's why uh, when, when people listen to it, uh, they feel affected. And, and I believe you cannot affect people uh, unless you were affected yourself. Sing a song that, ha- that means something to you and it will mean something to those mm. that are listening. Mm. And so, um, yes, there's so many, so many songs. And one, sometimes uh, you end up uh, being reminded of the song, that, wait a minute, oh, my word, <laughs> that song. I remember, okay. And then you go back to the archives. You know? yeah, wow. <laughs> and then you have to bring in, like, um, uh, as I will be coming to uh, the UK, um, Definitely, one has to go back to the archives and then even know as to what are the songs that, uh, you know, my followers love uh, over there. And uh, I've been uh, to, um, you know, the UK twice before. Okay. Uh, Yes, um, and uh, uh, I've been even to, uh, um, you know, uh, Pastor Ashma Lowell's church, you know, uh, uh, twice. So uh, I know there's quite a number of people that really love my ministry, and I am actually saying to all of them, it has been a long time, and God has given us a breakthrough uh, again uh, for us to come and be a blessing to them. And therefore, we will do most of the songs that they love and that they want to hear you know that's great and I'm glad that you've brought that up so just to mention again that you will be in Birmingham UK on the 12th of November what are you bringing especially for your UK fans have you got anything special um, lined up well, um, to start with, um, I have to actually keep them updated because I will be bringing my new album, which is Sanctified in His Presence. Right. Um, uh, definitely, they, they need to be ready to actually uh, uh, purchase or let me say uh, add to their, you know, uh, to their playlist and then and, and have the CD even to their CD list, you know. Um, uh, and I'll be doing some of the new songs and and, and, uh, and they are all on, on YouTube, uh, most of the songs which are in the new album. But at the same time, I mean, um, I'm, I'm, I have to do the old songs, like songs uh, that they know, Jehovah yeah. is your name. Yeah. And some of them know, Yagutanda, Moe. All those songs, you know, are kind of like classic songs, um, uh, and 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 many people can uh, can can listen to the new songs, but they still want to hear uh, songs of Benjamin or songs that uh, actually introduced them uh, to Benjamin Dubin. Yes, of course. Yes, um, you have received numerous. Uh, prestigious awards, lifetime awards, even yes. gospel yes. legends awards. When you first laid down your first recording back in 1986, did you have any idea that this is where the Lord would lead you to, to and that you would receive such accolades? Well, uh, to be frank with you, I, I 
that was not my aim. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, when I started, it was because I really wanted the gospel uh, to be heard. And uh, more so in, in South Africa, the gospel was like uh, um, something of the past or something that is not necessary. And I was the only one, uh, you know, that was coming through with contemporary gospel music. Wow. And the rest were were on on uh, on traditional and <laughs> uh, and so um, uh, but amazingly enough, um, God has really uh, you know honored me in in really taking uh, the front you know or let me say uh, to be a pioneer yeah. and to even uh, father uh, quite a number of other art, gospel artists. And that are really making a mark right now. In, 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 I mean, internationally, and in which it's an honor for me um, to really speak over their lives and to always remind them as to uh, what is important and to be focused. Um, my getting all the uh, the awards and all that um, it has actually humbled me, and mm. uh, and I have to. It, it gives me even a responsibility. Uh, to always uh, uh, to keep uh, you know be on the ground mm. and um, uh, set an example even uh, for those that are coming after and and then for them to say you know what if uh, Bishop Benjamin is still himself after so many uh, accolades uh, and and then he's still holding on uh, to the right thing and and uh, I mean who are we not to yeah. you know and you have four sons I have three so I can imagine what four sons might be like. Um, are they are they following in Daddy's footsteps in regards to ministry and music, or have they taken a different direction? Oh, yeah, you know that one has been a great blessing to me <laughs> because it, it's amazing how God can do things. And he, I was not really praying, like uh, really fasting and praying, but I was hoping that they would not follow uh, in, in, in the gospel uh, mm. and, and, you know, in the gospel music. And, and, and at the same time, not only gospel music, I was hoping that they would not actually follow into uh, in doing uh, music, you know. Uh, I was hoping they would go academically and they would do other things and, and not music, you know. Uh, <laughs> And and surprisingly enough, you know, they actually uh, just chose exactly what I was I was hoping they wouldn't, you know. Wow. <laughs> but it it is a blessing. It mm. is a blessing that they actually not only just chose music, but they chose to follow in the gospel genre, yeah. you know. Mm. And uh, for me, it's like God is saying. This is an honor I'm giving you mm. that your sons will follow in your footsteps. That's you know? awesome. Yeah. And they have their first album. They are working on the second album yeah. and, and they are featuring in most of my albums. And I just bless God for that. You know? That's awesome. Thank you that, so that, that's much wonderful. for taking the time You're out welcome. of your very, very busy schedule to, to speak to us. It's been um, a real pleasure and a privilege. We appreciate you. Thank you.